Between the light of acceptance and the shadow of rejection, the path he chooses will not only determine his fate but will echo through the ages, a perpetual reminder of the battle between good and evil that resides in every heart. As a new day dawns, bringing light to darkness, a shadow grows in Cain's heart. A wrath fueled not by divine rejection, but by his inability to look within himself. His isolation is not merely physical, but a reflection of his departure from the light that once sought to guide him. Within him, a battle unfolds, between the truth offered to him and the pride that refuses to accept it. Wrath, like an uncontained flame, consumes his reason, guiding him down a path of no return. Abel, unaware of the approaching storm, remains true to his essence, a beacon of goodness in contrast to the darkness that swallows his brother. Cain, speaking to himself. Why Abel? Why his offering and not mine? What does he have that I do not? Abel speaks. Brother, it's good to find you here. Come join me. There's much to be done, and together we can. But words of peace cannot calm a turbulent soul. Cain, lost in his wrath, sees in Abel not the brother who loves him but the mirror of his own failures. And it is in this moment, in this exact instant, that the fate of both is sealed. A choice made not just in words, but in action, will shape the oldest of human tragedies. In a landscape that once symbolized the promise of a new day, now lies a silent echo of loss and desolation. Cain, enveloped in the shadow of his irreversible act, faces the void left by his choices. An inescapable truth reveals itself, there is no escape from the consequences of our actions. God speaks with Cain. Cain, where is Abel, your brother? Cain responds with a trembling voice. I do not know. Am I my brother's keeper? In Cain's words, a vain attempt to hide the truth from one who sees all. But it is in the divine response that the magnitude of his fall is revealed, not just as punishment, but as a mirror to the choices that shape our soul. God speaks. What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood cries out to me from the ground. Now, therefore, you are cursed from the earth, which has opened its mouth to receive your brother's blood from your hand. Cain speaks. My punishment is greater than I can bear. If you drive me away from your presence today, I will be a fugitive and a wanderer on the earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. In his plea, Cain reveals the fear that now consumes him, a reflection not just of the act committed, but of the isolation of his soul. But even in the depths of punishment, a spark of divine mercy is present. God then speaks. Therefore, whoever kills Cain, vengeance will be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord put a mark on Cain, lest anyone finding him should kill him. Thus, Cain departs, a man marked by his own hand, condemned to wander under the weight of his actions. A living reminder that, while the shadows of our deeds may follow us, the light of mercy and redemption remains within reach, awaiting our return to grace.